Hello guys and girls. I have um, now a day ago um, reached the entire auto bio of um, Melkomix uh, in some two and a half day. Tell me in the comments if you find that fast or slow or something in between. Now that guy, he comes, I've come from an extremely deep place. Not in a good sense, but in the dark sense. His father killed when he was very young by the Ku Klux Klan. Then his mother later become psychotic. And went in a, his place in a mental hospital. Then he lived by different people um, and do it great on school. Um, he was one of the highest on school, but then. He one day, um, one of his teachers asked him what he wants to do in life. And he said he wants to become a lawyer. And then his lawyer said, I suggest with a grim and um, pleasant smell, something like this. Are you mad? You are a black person. Black people cannot become lawyers. That was the general census in the time. He said that Malcolm X have to become carpenter. The disappear disappointed him very much and he dropped later out of school, most likely because of this idea. So why he was thinking should he go back? Further to a school, if he never will become pet, it's something better than a carpenter. Then he gets oh, after get come in the ghetto, become a very disgusting gangster. I think even a worst kind of gangster, as Joey Carpson or was actually. Tell me in the comments if you know. Or if you are Gar Joey Corp from uh, how watch this video, if you if he was once a pimp, and now he was a violent uh, guy and have the disgusting behavior of um, working always with guns. And using a lot of drugs and gang stuff, but I don't know if he also goes so far. But then, and Malcolm X um, was arrested, so far now, oh, can I remember? Oh, around his 20th year. And then he goes to prison. Prison. Um, after that, in prison, he started to become a member of the Nation of Islam. Um, group has supported black supremacism in a kind of way, but. It was good for him because because of the teachings of Alai Samahamid. He is um, come completely off of the drugs. Before that, he was called um, Satan in prison because of his rude and disturbing behavior. Even by the present standards, 
and a constant cursing. Not constant, but a lot of cursing they was he doing. And stopped eating pork or also because Muslims cannot eat that because of their religion. Now technically but this for another topic. Now in prison he started to become a member of the prison debate club and was reading a lot about of the white man's history but he later like to um, explain to the white man how evil he was acting for one or for 400 years of slavery of blacks in the United. After prison, Ali Saman Hamad gift Malcolm X how in that time reacted his birth name Malcolm Little since that name Little was the slave master's name. The slave master how to take the name of his father away when they were taken away from their homeland. Their father's father in the time of slavery. So that's the reason why a lot of the members of the Nation of Islam did not have um, um, second name. Of not the name, of not um, surname, but on uh, replaced that with um, X. Later in life, he have at, uh, at least had one time visited with um, direct contact with uh, met, um, Dr. King. And Malcolm X later on, uh, also later in his life, when he f have, uh, first met um, Betty, his wife, and have a, um, three children. He go to Mecca. In Mecca, he met a white man. How were um, people how were considered white if he was living in America? But he don't feel any racism against him from that guy. This uh, start to um, let him evolve in accepting also. Uh, the ideas of some non-blacks and let them come more to the idea that not all whites were pure evil incarnated and let them rethink a lot of the ideas he had held before in um, the, in um, Syria, he met also a woman, uh, a young woman that wants to help the blacks. But in that time, he said, "We have later um, regret from that." He said that white people can nothing do for the black man. Later, he said that that was something of a mistake. Because he he understands that they can do stuff and they can be allies. They can talk to other whites and explain the idea of um, also of respecting blacks, and maybe they want to listen better to a white person in some cases. If they are very deep into the racist mindset. And that's in that moment he started to view the society more in um, in a class 
system way with an all the kind of classism from the class system he said before more like um, poor versus rich or something like that that is how I see um, and that's the message what I get from his book also um, that most liberals are not better than uh, the republicans and I, I, let I be completely sure Donald Trump is absolutely not honest but in general that uh, Republicans are a bit more honest in where they stand for than the, Dem than the, than the Democrats, liberals in America who always think there are no anything already and you don't can teach them anything. That they are too already enough. I see this also in the with a race of uh, veganism. Many um, high educated liberals who are not vegan are passive aggressive and hypocritical. Saying, oh, um, veganism is a privilege issue. Veganism is not a privilege issue. Veganism, even anybody can be vegan. You can be vegan if you are broke, serious. I eat for four dollars or euros a day. So don't tell me that uh, veganism is so expensive, please. Because it is not. You can make it expensive if you eat a lot of expensive um, meat substitutes, animal meat substitutes, where you eat a lot of blueberries or something like that. But in general, you have the expensive shit, steaks um, and that kind of stuff is expensive shit. Even with the subsidies, and in America, for example, over. 70%, at least 70% of all the food subsidies go to the meat, dairy and egg industry to make their products less expensive. So... Yeah, the reality check, people. Rice, bananas, beans, potatoes are not expensive. Tomatoes are not so expensive. Please, people, stop making excuses. Look this situation from the victim's point of view. Go vegan. I hope you like my video and my explanation why if you are against Joey Carpstrong because you have a violent history then you also must be against other people in history from other courses how you have been violent in the past also um, Nelson Mandela have um, committed acts of um, guerrilla warfare are you going to um, Slender hair stand now uh, because he uh, have uh, used uh, explosives in his fight against apartheid, as if it's Africa. He said to the court, I don't deny that I have planned sabotage. I have done not in a spirit of recklessness or because of any love for violence. I have done it. 
because of a calm and sober assessment of the program of apartheid. Without violence, the blanks of notes and chance in their circle for freedom. So, stop making excuses. And to the next video. When darkness and light become one, reality splinter away and the truth become visible.